Hi professional, yesterday I got a call from one of my colleague and he raised a concern that he understand all these 12 principles of the project management but uh, somehow he is not able to remember all these 12 principles. So I think uh, some of you also have the same concern or same the challenge. So in this video I wanted to give you a technique by which you can easily recall all these 12 principles and if you stay tuned to the last moment I will assure you that it is very easy. So are you ready to learn and understand the technique by which you can uh, recall these 12 principles? Let's begin. So these are the 12 principles as you see over here that stewardship, value, tethering, risk, team, system, thinking, quality, adaptability and resilience, stakeholder, leadership, competencies and change. Sounds oddness though you understand but it's difficult to remember. So what is the technique? Let me give you the technique first. So I will going to tell you one story that help you to recall or remember this principle. So to, uh, story is very simple. Uh, it's the story of Mr. Q who wants to travel from Sydney to Chennai. So this is the formula that reflected over here. Q travel that's 3 cross SC. So this is acronym of the old 12 principles. Now I will tell you the story and uh, simultaneously I will make you explain all these 12 principles. Now in our upcoming session we are going to discuss each and every principles in detail. So if you wanted to understand you will get that one by one all the videos but this particular session I just wanted to focus to how to record or remember all these 12 principles. So let's begin. So first let's consider the case of Mr. Q that is the quality. So quality is regarding about what is the expectation or the requirement fit for purpose to the customer. So that is the quality. Now uh, Mr. Quality, Mr. Q wants to travel from Sydney to Chennai to sign some agreement or to have a deal. So that is he has to travel three times from Sydney to Chennai. So that is how you can recall this. Now second stand for T that is Teller. Now he has Teller is the principle which is related to the organization context in which you wanted to tailor the processes and other things. So now based on the requirement he has two options available. He took a flight and second he took a ship to reach from his source to the destination. Now first would be the tailoring based on the ships or based on travel. Now he choose to travel through air and that is the risk because to traveling through the air there is a risk of many miss there are a risk of a flight might get delayed because of these things uh, flight there is earlier incidents of uh, collapsing and other things so he has took that risk uh, and how he evaluate all these two options like if he go through the air cargo air uh, flight then cost would be high but time would be less but if we go through the shift then in that case time would be high so that is adaptability adaptability is concerned with the two things adaptability means the impact how you absorb those impact and resilience how you bounce back and achieve from that uh, uh, failure and you call back so this is regarding the adaptability so based on traveling from Sydney to China, he take that uh, risk and he take that adaptability and the value, the cost benefit analysis he do and how he get that uh, deal sign that is most important. So that is associated with the value and the leadership. The flight is command by the pilot. So he took a leadership role. Now there is no need to be get confused with the authority and the leadership. Leadership is sometimes the situational leadership or servant leadership. We will discuss in detail in the upcoming session when we are discussing the principles. But here you need to uh, remember by that the traveling or the flight taken by the pilot, he play a leadership role over here. Now next, the 
3S and the 3C that first stand for the steward. So steward is something related to the extra care and the cautious like uh, the air hostess in the flight, he played the steward role. So without the air hostess, also you can travel from one source to the destination. But the air hostess give you the comforts that he will assure you that care and other things to be taken care. So that is the steward. As a project manager, you also need to be make sure that all the members in your team should have that relief and the comforts in your presence. So that is the steward, the stakeholder. So in this journey from Sydney to Chennai, there are many stakeholders involved passengers, different airlines, air traffic controllers, different government regulations, many things. So you have to take care of all this. The picture showing the air traffic control and different airlines is indicated. There is a system. So system thinking, you need to think from a different internal, external. There is a combination with uh, different flights available. There is a uh, humans. So all these are the interrelated system of the system that how you book with which airlines, which uh, uh, time zone, which is the pilot. So all this help system of system so that thinking is required. The complexity. So with the system of the system things, there is a high complexity. Now complexity is not necessarily the uh, related to human behavior because human behavior is itself a complex. But apart from that, there is a, so many things like air traffic controller, there is the systems, there is a, so many technical signals. So all this create a complexity and how all this you can overcome by collaborating. So uh, collaborating is the principles where the different cross-functional teams work together to achieve the project goal. So here the air traffic controller, the pilot, the air hostess and other uh, stakeholders work in a collaboration to reach to the destination. So that is the collaboration. And finally the change, Mr. Q reached from the Sydney to his destination Chennai, he has signed that deal, that is a change he wanted to achieve. So that change is a principle related to what the organization benefits he wanted to achieve. So after the project is handover, there is a profit, what we are tracking, the benefit tracking, the operation thing. So here it's indicating of the change mindset and the change what you want to achieve. We are going to be discuss all this in detail one by one, but this is the technique by which you can remember all these 12 principles. So I just wanted to recap again, try to remember this sentence, Mr. Q travel three times from Sydney to Chennai. And this is the way you can remember these 12 principles. Just remember one sentence, I repeat once again for you, Mr. Q travel three times from Sydney to Chennai. And you can remember all these 12 principles. Thank you very much. If you really like this session and you want me to create such more useful techniques and session for you, just subscribe for this video. Thank you very much for your kind attention.